Welcome to EPG Patshala, a project of UGC for higher e-learning. My topic is statistical procedure, parametric and non-parametric RMS 22. I am Shubhashish Bondopadhyay, Associate Professor of Sociology at Indian Institute of Engineering, Science and Technology at Shippur. Now, I'm going to give a brief introduction to the utility of statistics in social research and specifically sociological research. Statistics as a discipline has two origins. One is collection and gathering of data. The other is putting this data into analysis. For social scientists, and specifically for sociologists, we use statistics more of as a tool rather than as an original source of knowledge. For us, statistics means a tool for analysis, a tool for description, and tool of interpretation. Combining all these three things together, we can generally divide data interpreted in terms of statistics in social sciences in two parts. One is parametric, the other is non-parametric. The parametric part has something to do when we know the specific nature of the population where parameters are given in a defined boundary and can be treated in specific mode of action, interpretation and analysis. But there are cases when the parameters are diffused and dispersed across the population and we cannot apply the parametric procedure to interpret or analyze the data in the structured manner as it is used in parametric statistical procedure. This second part involves non-parametric procedures. These two are interlinked, but definitely in terms of experimentations, in terms of analytics, and in terms of interpretations of the results, there are variants between these two distinct but interrelated module. Statistic, when you use for parametric purpose, are normally issues of central tendency, standard deviations and related area of normal curve interpretations. But for the non-parametric purposes, we go for correlational analysis and some specific and specialized kind of taste and procedures like Wilkinson's and Kruskal tests and procedures involved in these things generate a different set of interpretation on the basis of the nature and quality of the original data structure. Combining these two things together, we are trying to understand the essential dynamics of use of statistics as a meaningful tool in our social scientific research. In the literal meaning of the terms, a parametric statistical test is one that makes assumptions about the parameters defining properties of the population distributions from which one's data are drawn, while a non-parametric taste is one that makes no such assumptions. For practical purposes, one can think of parametric as referring to tests such as t-tests and the analysis of variance that assume the underlying source populations to be normally distributed. They generally also assume that one's measures derive from an equal interval scale and one can think of non-parametric as referring to tests that do not make on these particular assumptions. Examples of non-parametric tests include the various forms of chi-square taste. The feature exact probability taste 
the man Whitney taste, the Wilcoxon signed rank taste, the Kruskal Wallis taste, the Freedman taste. It is safe to say that most people who use statistics are more familiar with parametric analysis than non-parametric analysis. Non-parametric tests are also called distribution free tests because they do not assume that your data follow a specific distribution pattern. Non-parametric tests are like a parallel universe to parametric tests. The following list shows related pairs of hypothesis tests that Minitab statistical software offers. The parametric test means and the non-parametric tests are medians. Under the head parametric test, we can have one sample t-test, two sample t-test, one way ANOVA or analysis of variance and factorial DOE with one factor and one blocking variable. The non-parametric tests medians based include one sample sign, one sample Wilcoxon, Man Whitney test, Kruskal Wallis Moods median test, and finally Friedman test. Reasons to use parametric test. Reason 1. Parametric tests can perform well with skewed and non formal distributions, which may also be termed as non normal distributions. Reason 2. Parametric tests can perform well when the spread of each group is different and reason 3 is statistical power. That means, in terms of use and application, parametric statistical tests shows more robustness in terms of interpretive understanding and analytical discussions. Just like parametric, there are reasons to use non-parametric tests. Reason 1. The area of study under non-parametric tests is better represented by the median. Reason 2. The use of non-parametric test can handle a very small sample size. And number 3, one can have ordinal data, ranked data or outliers that cannot be removed. So, in general, when there are chances of impurity in the distribution of the population or within the sample size and where the extreme values are involved and something we cannot replace easily, we normally refer to non-parametric tests as our way out. Some closing thoughts. It is commonly thought that the need to choose between a parametric and non-parametric test occurs when your data fail to meet an assumption of the parametric test. This can be the case when you have both a small sample size and non-normal data. However, other considerations often play a role because parametric tests can often handle non-normal data. Conversely, non-parametric tests have strict assumptions that you cannot disregard. The decision often depends on whether the mean or median more accurately represents the center of your data distribution. If the mean accurately represents the center of your distribution or the spread of your sample size that is large enough, consider a parametric test because they are more powerful and more incisive in nature. If the median beta represents 
the center of your distribution consider the non parametric test even when you have a large sample size. Finally, if you have a very small sample size you might be stuck using a non parametric test try to collect more data next time if it is at all possible. As you can see the sample size guidelines are not really that large your chance of detecting a significant effect when one exists can be very small when you have both a small sample size and you need to use a less efficient non parametric test. In terms of comparison if the type of analysis is comparing two related samples the relevant non parametric test will be Wilcoxon signed rank test. The consequent parametric equivalent is t test for dependent samples. Comparing two unrelated samples when that is the case of analysis you may use Mann Whitney U test for non parametric test. The same would apply for parametric equivalent test of t for independent samples. In the third type of analysis if you are comparing three or more related samples the non parametric test pattern would follow Friedman test. The parametric equivalent in this case would be repeated measure ANOVA or analysis of variance. If the type of analysis is comparing categorical data the non parametric test would be chi square test and Fisher exact test. However, unfortunately there is no parametric equivalent in this case. If the type of analysis is comparing two rank ordered variables the non parametric test that would handle this case effectively is Spearman rank order correlation. The parametric equivalent in this situation would be Pearson product moment correlation. When the type of analysis is comparing two rank ordered variables the non parametric test applicable here is Spearman rank order correlation. The parametric equivalent in this case is Pearson product moment correlation. When the type of analysis involves comparing two variables when one variable is discrete dichotomous the non parametric test applied may be point bezerial correlation. The parametric equivalent in this case is Pearson product moment correlation. When the type of analysis is trying to compare two variables when one variable is continuous dichotomous the non parametric test would be bizerial correlation and parametric equivalent is Pearson product moment correlation. When the type of analysis is trying to examine a sample for randomness the non parametric test is runs test and unfortunately once again there is no parametric equivalent present. Generally speaking when we try to classify hypothesis the test table proposition based upon which we try to draw a generalized conclusion whether a hypothesis is true or not that is null or alternative we can use two different type of test. The parametric test would here involve t test, z test and analysis of variance. The non parametric test in this case would be Mann Whitney, Ransom test and Kruskal Wallis test. After this brief discussion over the issue of statistical procedure in parametric and non parametric segment, we have seen a kind of binary situation. But the binary is easy to understand. If your set up context, if your 
quality of sample and the population is homogeneous, well structured, organized, less arbitrary, you can go for a robust procedure like parametric statistics, which gives you more power for more precise generalization. But interestingly, in social scientific procedure, there are moments when we do have little or no control over the context, content, nature, attributes and quality of the population or intrinsic aspects of the sample. Because human condition is volatile, quite random and can be less systematic all the time. In this context, when you have a solid grip over the parametric procedure, you can switch over to non-parametric statistics because though it is slightly less powerful as a tool, but it gives you enough amount of flexibility to generate understandable generalization on the given nature of random arbitrary nature of the sample and the population size. Basically, this binary is dependent on the context and the structure of the research situation, the moment you are trying to study. If it is more structured, you definitely go for the parametric procedure. If it is less structured, more open, slightly random and arbitrary situations, where you cannot control extraneously on the issues of sample and population, it is better and more rational to opt for a non-parametric procedure. I hope the things are clear to you now. Thank you very much.